hi guys it's Tasha welcome back to my channel thank you guys for joining me so today we're going to be talking about something that's very personal for me um, if you read the title of the video you can see that I'm going to be discussing my hysterectomy journey with you guys so I had a hysterectomy back in um, February and I decided to wait until I made a full recovery so that I could give you guys the best information um, and a full report of how I'm doing. So I found out in the middle of January that I was going to have to have a full hysterectomy uh, due to fibroids on my uterus and some other things that were going on with me, um, such as excessive bleeding and things like that. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you, when I first found out I was having the surgery done, I completely freaked out. I was so scared. Um, I immediately called my girlfriends um, and my cousins and we talked about it. And to be honest with you, um, one of the things that inspired me to do this video was because I went on YouTube after I learned that I would be having this surgery done and I did a lot of research and I read, I watched a lot of videos that um, the ladies had posted on here um, with their journeys and it gave me tons of information. And so I just felt like, you know what, I want to do this as well and share because if I can just inspire one person, I feel like I've done something. So um, like I said, I had the surgery back in February. Um, it is a um, eight week recovery process. Um, they told me that I had to be out of work for at least four weeks. Um, so that meant out of work, out of church, everything. So I didn't think that was too bad um, because after four weeks, I just was able to go back to um, my life and everything would be just light duty. But then um, this pandemic hit and I ended up being home for an extended period of time anyway. So I had the surgery um, and I had my surgery laparoscopically. So they just made three tiny incisions and went into my stomach and did the surgery, which was a blessing because I know a lot of people had it the old way where they cut you from one end to the other and cut you up. I didn't have to go through any of that. Um, so that was a blessing. Another thing, um, Thankfully, I didn't have to have my ovaries removed, and that was a really big deal. My doctor told me that as long as I can keep my ovaries, I won't have to go through hormone therapy. I won't have to worry about menopause anytime soon and all of that. So I was literally exactly the way that I was after it was over. I didn't have any side effects as far as emotionally or hormonally or anything like that. Um, I will say um, I was very afraid that um, this would be a painful surgery. Like I said, I did so much research and I saw some people say it was the worst pain ever. And then I had some people say it was not as bad as you think. And for me, it was a very good recovery. I didn't have any issues. Um, I had one issue, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I didn't have any issues with my recovery with pain. Honestly, I didn't take any pain medication. I only took Aleve, um, Ibuprofen, and Tylenol. So they give you, you know, pain meds, narcotics, or whatever to go home with, um, and I didn't need any of that. My doctor was like, I'm going to give it to you just in case. I do have a very low tolerance for pain, so I was so surprised that I didn't have any significant pain. Um, so it went very well. I um, stayed overnight in the hospital and I came home to recover. The recovery process was good. My husband um, was here with me for the first um, three weeks and then my daughter came home from school once we had the pandemic and schools were shut down. And so she was here to help me out. I followed all of the doctor's orders. They tell you that you cannot lift anything you can't um, bend over for um, six weeks. So I didn't do any of that. I was very obedient and it paid off because I didn't have any issues until one morning um, I woke up and I was bleeding. Like just blood was everywhere, significant bleeding and we had to go to the hospital. And we went to the hospital and found out that one of my internal stitches had popped 
I have no idea how that happened, but um, I was fine. They said that I was healing okay otherwise, so they wanted to watch it. They didn't want to go back in. They said if this bleeding doesn't stop within 48 hours, they would have to go back in um, and restitch. And that means I would have to be opened up again and all that stuff. So didn't have to go through that. By the time I got home from the hospital, the bleeding had already slowed down. So thankfully I was okay. I was so scared, but let me tell you this. I joined this hysterectomy group on Facebook. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I was typing while I was always at the hospital and they were telling me what to do and oh, this is common, it happens. And I got through it that way. And thankfully with prayer, and everything um, they put me on bed rest I was fine that was the only issue and that wasn't even painful uh, I didn't have any pain at all I did have a lot of swelling on my stomach and I purchased um, heating pad a heating pad and I purchased this really nice ice pack from Amazon it's really really nice it's very soft and that did help keep the swelling down um, so I was fine. Uh, I did sleep a lot. I was exhausted. Clearly I had major surgery, but other than, you know, the sleeping and the mild pain, I didn't have any significant pain. I know that everybody's different. So, you know, like I said before, I, there were people who had, um, stories of just like horror stories. And then there were people who were like, it is not as bad. And I think the people who have really, really, um, bad stories are the ones who they don't qualify for whatever reason for laparoscopic and they have to be cut and i can only imagine i actually have a friend who had that surgery and it was very painful very major so i just thank god i didn't have to go through that but what i will tell you is that this was like the best decision that i made to have this done i have absolutely no regrets i feel amazing um, a lot of people wondered um, if you would gain weight after surgery because it does say that you can either experience weight loss or you can gain weight. And um, I actually was pretty good. I didn't gain or lose anything. I've gained weight, but it has nothing to do with that. But um, I didn't gain. In fact, I um, the first week or so, I didn't really have a big appetite my appetite came back and I was already on a diet, so I just continued eating healthy foods. So I didn't gain um, any weight from, the, from that surgery. So overall, it was very good for me. I went back in for my um, first checkup, which was four weeks, and then I went again. And when I went in for my four week checkup, my doctor said everything looked good because I had that um, scare um, with the bleeding and the stitch that popped, she told me that she wanted me to take some additional time, you know, on light duty, but you know, just to take it easy. So I still couldn't lift um, or bend down because of that. But she told me I could go back to um, light duty at work and of course go back to church in my regular life, just be careful. And that's what I did. And literally not even two days after I went back to work, everything shut down because of the coronavirus um, and I was told that I was immunocompromised because I had just had surgery so um, I just marched right back home and was you know working from home so that I didn't have to be um, exposed in any way so um, but you know if you guys have any questions I'm gonna leave my email address down below um, if you guys have any questions, um, just let me know. I just want to tell you guys that I have some amazing content coming. I'm actually working on um, two clothing hauls from Shein. Um, these are plus size hauls. I'm working on a plus size clothing haul from Forever 21 and from Ashley Stewart. So I have some really fun, amazing videos that are coming for you guys. So please like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.